Hello and welcome to today's MUTV group chat. Um, no Stuart today, as you can see, so I'm stepping in for him, but we do have our regular panel of guests. We've got Ben Thornley, Danny Weber, uh, David May, and we've got Wes Brown. We'll shortly be joined as well by a Manchester music legend, uh, Rowetta. Hopefully, Bez will be uh, on the call soon if we can get him out of bed. Uh, for now, though, let's see what the boys are up to, how they've been. Ben, what's going on? Not a lot. I've had to come inside. Weather's changed. Raining. Gutted. Danny, how are you? I'm good, mate. Yeah, ticking over. No complaints. Just steady, mate. Steady away. Maisie, long time no see. How's it going, pal? Brilliant. Great. Yeah. Another day of being on the insurance call, probably. Never mind. Any updates? Any updates? No? No. Nothing. And Wes, uh, you are telling us you had an early night last night, pal? The early night, Stu. Ready to go today. Stu? Have you? Stu? What have you Stu? done with your hair? <laughs> Stu? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, Wes. <laughs> Maybe you wanted to give Stu a bit of a stick, actually, for not being here, didn't you? It's scandalous. Do you know what? He's absolutely ribbed me for missing two days. It's good, um, Maisie, though, because we get we get him to do something. Yeah, he needs That's to do something. He needs to chat Ben up again or something like that, or something <laughs> worse. Shave his head. Well, maybe uh, some of the fans watching can think of a. Good idea. Frank or a forfeit for Stuart, yeah, using uh, uh, the regular email address, uh, mutv at manunite.co.uk, if you want to get in touch or leave a comment on the um, YouTube section. But, yeah, something to, uh, some kind of forfeit, Maisie, you reckon? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, because he's bullied me into it all. I don't <laughs> them chicken wings, them chicken wings, Maisie, start with that. Well, the only thing with that, was he's vegetarian, isn't he? So I'm going to have to ah. ask the last if there's anything a little bit. Um, vegetarian that we can send his way, but he won't. Be. Hey guys, so, uh, the football's getting closer, isn't it? Um, ben, you know it's uh, counting the days now till we can see the lads back in action. They're training hard still. Uh, just can't wait for them to to return to football. No, it's been um, it's been a long time in coming. Obviously, with so many you know different permutations and obstacles to get over and through. Uh, but it's uh, in a little over a week's time. United will restart their season against Spurs so um, it's going to be done with a little bit of intrepidation I'm pretty sure but if we can take the model from Germany where there'd be no repercussions hopefully they won't be here either which for me is, and for everybody really is uh, I know Maisie's is a big advocate of it is a, is a major important part We've had some great images of the players back in training though haven't we on the uh, on the official app on, on the website yeah. um, it, it looks good what we're seeing so far they're, they're looking well well, yeah, it's, um, it's going to be pretty much like pre-season, I should imagine. Um, lads are coming back. First game will be will be a strange one for them, you know, behind closed doors, um, down at Spurs. I'm, I, I'm just wondering whether, I don't know whether the lads know about it or if they know. We spoke to Danny Simpson yesterday. Honestly, they're driving to the ground or he's driving to the ground on his own. Does that mean the lads do it or are they all right? And buses are, coaches are. How did I get that? That's a good not question. Sure. No idea. No. no. We'll have to we'll have to find out about that. We'll have to ask because um yeah, it was interesting to hear Danny yesterday saying he had that long trip um up to the northeast, didn't he? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, so yes. Strange one, Wes. You can't imagine getting yourself to football. You used to do that in your school days, maybe. Um, but yeah. not when you turn pro. No, I think if, if that's the case, it'd be hard if you're driving to destinations and then you've got to sort of get out um, and have a game of footy. Um, it's probably not the, it's not ideal at all. But I'm, 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 I mean, I just can't see the Premier League doing that, if I'm being quite honest. Um, because, you know, your, your legs are, you need your legs for the game. And you know what it's like driving up and down. I mean, I used to drive to Sunderland all the time. And it's, when you get out, you're stiff as hell. So, yeah. Um, you know, anything over an hour, it's not ideal. Mm. Yeah, just wondering whether well, they might do it over like two or three buses so you can keep that distance in, but I don't know. don't know. We'll find there's, out. Yeah, there's not space enough on the regular team buses, is there? That's for sure. No. Uh, right, we want to get Rowetta in soon now, so let's just uh, read some of the fans' comments. Didn't have time um, yesterday to do this. Um, so there's a few comments from yesterday's programme. Uh, Lisa Bradley... Uh, said this on, on YouTube. 
Now, Alex Stepney, what a player and a gentleman. Uh, could have listened to him talk about Man United all day long. Uh, proper legend is, is Steptoe, wouldn't he? We, we love him to bits. Uh, Ronan Kirwan said this, Tony Dunn, United and Ireland legend, uh, RIP. And of course, um, that was the real sad news we spoke about yesterday, uh, the death of the former United fullback, proper legend of over 500 games. Uh, on Facebook, Catherine Mackey uh, said, I used to do Tony's wife Anne's hair back in the late 60s. She was such a beautiful lady. Uh, so sorry for your loss, RIP Tony. Uh, so we will pass that on to Anne uh, there for you, Catherine. Thank you for your message. And on the show about Andre Kanchelskis, always loved Kanchelskis, says uh, Lostella. Uh, being a United supporting winger, also called Andre. Uh, I was called either Andre the Giant or Andre Kanchelskis. I always preferred Kanchelskis. Uh, Northern Crusader says, standing on the ball for the Jers, I remember as a kid. And him, a really young Lee Sharp, like lightning on the wings. Do you remember that when player for Rangers, he stood on the ball and did the... Do you remember that? A bit of showboating. Yeah. Yeah. He actually set a goal up with that, Sully. What? I, I, can't, I can remember him standing on the ball. Did on he, one occasion, he did it at Rangers and, he, and when he stood back up the ball, he rolled it forward, obviously did that, and he whipped a ball in and somebody actually scored from it. Class. Brilliant yeah. showboating. Uh, and Mike McMorrow said... Uh, one of my favourite players growing up will never forget when I met him in Tesco Bagley uh, when he was buying a tea strainer. <sighs> great story, nice and random. A uh, great winger, finisher and a gentleman. Uh, so just some of the many messages that came to us. Uh, but let's introduce our guests, shall we? Because um, when you think about Manchester, you think about the, the buzzing music scene, you've got to think about uh, this woman. It's the legend that is Rowetta. Rowetta, hi, Hello. how are you? I'm all right, thank you. Good, great to see you, mate. Um, Thanks. So, how's lockdown been for you, Rowetta? It's been all right, really. All the producers and DJs are all stuck at home, so they're all sending tunes in. And I've done really well with it, because I've been doing loads of collaborations. Number two in the dance charts now with Oliver Heldens, who's massive. But yeah, Todd Terry's been, I've been working with him. Kenny Doak later, Salado tomorrow. It's just, they're all doing nothing because all the gigs are off. So not so much with Happy Monday stuff. I think Sean's doing loads of interviews and stuff and Gogglebox with Bez. But um, I'm just getting loads of music done and loving it. And, you know, and I've been looking after a sick dog. So it's, it's been good. I, I like my own company, though, as well. And I like not being mithered in the shops. So I love they can't have a selfie. It's brilliant. And, um, <laughs> have you got a studio, a recorded studio at home then? I have, yeah. And I have a microphone set up right next to my bed. So if I wake up in the mood. I can get on it as well. And just knowing how to work everything, I, 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 learnt, I taught myself a long time ago how to work Pro Tools, all the stuff to record, so I don't need to go to a studio. And I've got a nice studio downstairs. That's class. So if ever you get inspired, you feel like recording, you can just do it or set yourself up, good to go. It's exactly what I do. And you just um, email it through um, a, a transfer service to whoever. Like Todd Terry has loads of my vocals. If I want to send him something, send it. And if he sends me a tune, I can send him my vocal over in the afternoon. And um, so it's, it's been brilliant. I, mean, I don't know how we managed before all that. I know, it's crazy. Isn't it? And have you been out. doing many meetings over Zoom or, or uh, WebEx or whatever? You've been chatting with people all over the world? I have, yeah. I did one with the uh, Tool Room with the record label this morning. Um, and an interview for half an hour. So it's, it's been brilliant, hasn't it, really? The Zoom and the way we're able to do this. Don't have to be in a room with Maisie, it's great. Just <laughs> have a chat without having to actually <laughs> be next Dude, to him, well, ring. I'm only joking, I miss you. I, do. I know, I miss, I miss you too, mate. Where, where's, your, where's your partner in crime? Where is he? Who, Bez? Yeah. I don't, I don't know, you know, because he lives in Herefordshire, so he lives in the middle of nowhere, and I miss him so, so much, but... Um, yeah, it, it does. So sometimes he doesn't get a signal. He can't work anything. He's not technical at all. So we're relying on his mates or his girlfriend. So, you know, I don't know. But uh, if I was there, it'd be, uh, do you know what I mean? I would get him on. So um, I will be telling somebody off later. Yeah, there's his on the call. We still, he still might turn up. You never know. He might I've, be, I've messaged everyone. I've messaged everyone who might be near him because he lives. It's like a commune where he lives. He's got everybody who I never want to see again, ex-boyfriends and everything. They live on his flipping land. So you get up in the, when you go over, you get up in the morning and it's like, oh, no, I thought he wasn't here anymore. Or, you know, like, yeah, like, lads I went out with like 20 years ago, they're there on Bez's land, still being leeches. 
You've, yeah. been great. you've been great with United. You've, you've always supported um, our events. You've supported the, the foundation and charity events. Yeah. Um, you're always there uh, on the end of the phone whenever we need you. And you've had a long-term uh, love of Manchester United, haven't you? I have. I've not been keen on some of the managers since uh, Sir Alex went. Um, I really wanted Mourinho straight away, to be honest. Um, and that didn't happen. I, what it was, I used to go for a long time when we never hardly lost when I used to, used to go to the games. And there's nothing worse than United losing and having to drive home. It's a long drive home and, and the managers walking on the pitch like everything's all right and it's not. But um, now it's looking much, much better. And um, yeah. so happy with San Fernandez and Igalo, said it right on that. And uh, no, it's looking brilliant for next season. I wish we could go now, but I stopped wanting to go as much. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, I love doing all the United events. It's brilliant. And um, I mean, to go to Players Player of the Year awards, I mean, De Gea was winning it most of the time um, yeah. when I've been. But like, I love Marcus Rashford, the fact that he's from Manchester and um, playing for United as a United fan. I, 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 just, I don't know. I just, I, I, love, I love the team. I love, uh, we used to do the radio a lot with Danny. Um, and I went to the Class of 92 game where he's going, got no, got no shoes and he found him some. And he ended up playing for Salford City, didn't you, Danny? Yeah, that was it. That was <laughs> he was the other best player because, the United, and Ben will know this, some of the United players and David May, they couldn't even catch a breath after five minutes. They were knackered. <laughs> You're right, exactly. Embarrassing. He's a young whippersnapper, Danny. <laughs> but Paul Scholes can still play and Danny Webber can, but a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Whereas Brown can still play, but you're still young compared to some of these. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh it's, yeah, it's been great having Rolette on. Thanks for coming on, Rolette. <laughs> yeah. Get Bez, get Bez on. <laughs> Bez, Bez, somebody said to him, Do you support United? He went, I haven't got a telly. <laughs> <laughs> but no, he used, to go to, he used to go to a lot of games, but now he's like, he's, he's, I think he enjoyed it more when it was standing, you know, everyone standing up. He enjoyed all the, um, you know, when it was a bit rougher. You know, than the family type game it is today. Um, where I wouldn't have gone like that. I prefer it now, obviously. I like, um, I don't want to sit in prawn sandwiches and all that. I do, I, I sit where proper fans are and everything, but I don't, I do like to feel safe within um, a football ground. You, love well, wait, you mentioned player of the year, Oweto. Who would be your player of the year this year? Fernandez. Fernandez, so even though he's only been here since Jan. Yeah, he's, he's changed the whole, he's changed the whole. It's just exciting now. The, the future looks exciting. It's changed everything. It's what we needed. I was the same with Zlatan when he played. You know, I love Cantona for the same reasons. He's just changed the whole... But I, I really would say, Fernandez, because of, of the promise and uh, what he's done to the team has been phenomenal. You know, you, even in a couple of games, I would still give him player of the year. It's what we needed. We really needed it. Yeah. Yeah. And now, especially with Liverpool, Liverpool winning the league is, is disaster, a disaster for us. You know, City get there staying out of Europe, that would be fantastic. But um, other than that, it's been a, a terror. Anything that Liverpool win, it's terrible. It's a disaster. And they deserve it, unfortunately. They do, well, don't they, Maisie? The football yeah. rivalry is a bit like the music, right? You know, Liv to be fair to Liverpool, it's, it, is a, it is a great city and they've got a fantastic music culture too, haven't they? It's like Manchester, Liverpool, two huge places in the North West with that amazing rivalry. Well, they did, but theirs was more the 60s. Do you find there's that rivalry in music? If you come up against a scouser and you... We used to. We used to. We did a gig in um, Northern Ireland uh, called the Fila Festival in Tipperary and we were playing with the farm and we were top of the bill. But honestly, we were nearly had a fight with the farm just because they were from Liverpool. And I was like, when we, we and it was like bass player against bass player, you know, like the girl against the girl. And it's like, what are we fighting for? It's like, just because of Liverpool, and it's like, no, them days have gone, though. This is like 1991, and we're having a fight with the farm, but nobody knows why. But now we all get on. You know, it's just stupid, and it's like, and I had to say to Scouts, I don't really hate you. You know, we just we just say it's, it's a football thing. It's not, I don't, when I go in a singing Liverpool, I have to go, no, I don't hate Liverpool. But, if, you know, if, you, but if, it's a, if it's a football game, I love beating Liverpool. There's nothing yeah. better than seeing Liverpool get beat, Old Trafford. I just, it's, it's brilliant. Happy Monday for the farm. I've just got a scene out of Anchorman in my head. With new teams <laughs> assemble. <isn't it>? We <laughs> would have won, by the way. We were, I, I, I would. I would have beaten them up. You know. <laughs> <laughs> it is a great rivalry. Um, yeah. So you're very much part of, of Man United. The way you sort of support our events, like we said, and you come to games and stuff for a wetter. Are yeah. you loving the fact that Ollie's the boss now? Because He's like one of our own now as our manager. Of course, yeah, and, and because he does it the Sir Alex Ferguson way, um, and. You know, we, 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 I'd st I stood by him a bit more than I did for the other managers uh, before because I knew he loved United and you've got to give him a chance. 
the other ones I didn't want to give them a chance really to be honest um, as soon as they started to get it wrong but no they're wrong you just know they're wrong for the job but he's united through and through he really does love united and I think if he didn't if he did a bad job he'd hold his hands up and walk away which the others didn't yeah, he's yeah. got the, the best interest of the club at heart always. He um, really has, because, you know, he can go and get a job somewhere else if he wanted to. He loves United, and that's what... I love people who love United. I would have people from Manchester play... Well, you can if you're from Manchester. If you're Manchester lad, you can play for your team. You're probably not going to play for City. You'll be playing for United if you're really, really brilliant. So you, you like uh, homegrown players, first and foremost? Right? I like the fact that you can have a dream and you can play for your team, where, yeah. you know, if, if you're a City fan, you probably won't. If you're from well, Stockport, you, you probably won't play. Empty. Yeah, hey? oh, our, our academy's been thriving. We've produced Amazing. so many. Yeah. We, um, and like, Marcus Rashford, what a role model, you know. Uh, that was really good to know when Danny Welbeck left, you know, for Arsenal. Because he's Manchester 3, he didn't want to leave. And they kept, they were giving him misquotes as if, oh, I've always wanted to play for Arsenal. No, he hasn't. No. He wanted to play no, for United. Uh, Maisie, obviously you and Rouette go way back, haven't uh, don't Not you? that way back, by the way. Not as back, way back. Not a chance. <laughs> you cheeky get as if you say no to me. And you... <laughs> hey, I never said that. I never I'm, said just that. Saying, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I avoid kid. where you might be. <laughs> You've had a good relationship for a long time. You know each other well, Maisie, from all the events and and yeah, New United. Yeah, we've done loads of shows. We did used to do Thursday Focus. I love that. that. Bring it back. No, I did love that. I know that, that was a great me, Helen and. Uh, Rowetta and Bez was on. We had to do it. We had to do a pre-show because of Bez swearing. I think <laughs> oh, maybe about twenty-five times. I've never swearing. heard him swear as much as that. It's, you must bring out the worst in people. <laughs> but now we've, uh, we've had we've had a few beers after the after the players awards as well. And we also yeah. had a, we had a game up in um, up in Newcastle. We had a night out in Newcastle. Oh didn't yeah, we? was that um, Alan Shearer's thing? Was it Alan Shearer thing? Yeah, yeah charity do. Yeah. That's Bez played with his, uh, it was on AstroTurf. <laughs> he got, he, he missed an open goal. He missed an yeah. open goal. He got applauded for coming off. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. football, how do we miss that? I'd love to see Bez playing. Is he, what's he like, Maisie? Uh, it's, it's better than you, so, you know. Is that his, knees, his, knees have got, his knees have gone from dancing, haven't they? So, he's got yeah. his, yeah. But uh, he was, he limped on. <laughs> Yeah. He really did limp on, that's how bad he was. He was nearly as bad as you, Maisie, but you were on a shirt, the United shirts, so it was embarrassing. It was Girl. funny because uh, he, he wore these, I think, the, I think they were bright blue boots with studs on. Yeah. But as, just as he's going on, he's got this beautiful <laughs> set of railings and he just hoid them out. And next <laughs> one, and he's, all his railings are missing. <laughs> and <he's bottom laughs> <one. I> <laughs> I know it's awful though, like four o'clock in the morning, nightclubs, people do videos and pictures of it with Bez and he looks great at the beginning of the night when we do our club nights and at the end his bottom teeth are always out and I go mad at his mates, don't let him take his teeth out because he goes from looking like a really handsome 50, yeah. looks about 40, to about 80 when he takes his teeth out, so I'm like, don't let, I mean what mates let you take your teeth out, it's shocking. <laughs> <laughs> What's Bez uh, doing music wise then? Is he doing anything? Well, he doesn't like... really play anything, does he? So, no, not really. No, he's doing, I think he's doing a couple of QA type things. Um, it's it's going to be hard for um, Bez and every and all bands. Our next gig is um, in, with Happy Mondays is January. It's the one March was set back in Amsterdam, Paradiso. And I'm hoping oh, it goes ahead. But we were supposed to be doing Glastonbury this year, I Love White. All put back till next year. So it's a if you don't, you know, I, I can sing probably, well, I sing at home and stuff, but I don't, I don't know, I don't know how Bez is going to manage, you know, really, but hopefully. So has it been uh, damaging for the music business then, lockdown, has it? Yeah, there's no no gigs at all, so of course it has. Um, yeah. But hopefully people can come back from it. There's also venues, a lot of venues are going to shut down. Um, bars, um, clubs, they're gonna, they are going to shut down. Nightclubs, in Ibiza, there's no dancing allowed at the moment, so a lot of nightclubs are not going to be able to open. Um, yeah, a lot of people are gonna are gonna lose the jobs. So people who depend on the summer season, you. We need it. We need a, a kickstart to the economy. That's it for for all those all those businesses. But I do <laughs> say though, if you are a singer or a musician or a footballer, or whatever you do, whatever you rely your money on, you've got to find other ways during this yeah. time. This is the time to get creative and find what else you're good at if you can. Uh, we've got some questions from the lads there. Uh, Maisie, you got anything for Owetta there? Hey, no, it, it's great seeing her. It's great that she's in uh, in good health and. Um, you know, I'm sure 
in the next couple of months, we'll uh, we'll get together for a few beers and uh, you know put all this behind us. Oh, sure, that's like when if you have to dinner speeches. I know, yeah. <laughs> so I've got right. So I've got a question for you. Yeah. Because I, I, just at the age when you were all coming to the fore, the Manchester scene was brilliant for me, and being a local lad as well, I actually yeah. bought a place in the Hacienda after it because I was too young to. And I, oh. by the time it was kicking, but let me let me ask you about Step yeah. On because it's still one of the most iconic songs of that era, and still when it gets played today. And people go mad for it, and I've heard it in, and pardon the pun, say mad for it. But you know, people have heard it in you know all four corners of the world, and they, they still love it. But who coined the phrase "twisting my melons," and what on earth does it mean? Yeah, Sean got it off. Um, he, he's mad about films, and there's a documentary on Steve McQueen, and it was just something that Steve McQueen said because he used to watch every doc. He still he loves films and anything about films. So it's just something that he twisted my melon man. I think Steve McQueen was talking about a director. So but Step On's a cover, it's not a Happy Mondays tune, but it's made our own by those little Call the Cops and Twisty My Melon Man. He's not so hip. But yeah, he got it out. Steve McQueen said it. So but right. I love hearing it in Old Trafford. There's nothing nothing better when it's on yeah. people's playlists. But and you, you like that, you do go, it's me, it's me. <laughs> um, you know, I, I actually sang This Is The One um, at one of the sponsors dudes with Bobby Charlton next to me and Gary Neville and uh, Brian Robson and all that, uh, singing This Is The One because Ian Brown probably didn't want to do it. But um, I, I imagine if you tune, well, I know you've played a lot of you on the pitch, but if, if, if your tune comes on, it's the best thing in the world. When anything by the Mondays comes on there, it's just the best buzz in the world. That's as near as you can get to playing on the pitch. You know what I mean? It's, um, I would love to do a gig there. I've done, we've done Wembley Stadium supporting Oasis. So I would love in some kind of form, if, if there's ever a gig at Old Trafford that I can get in on, you know, one of them charity do's or something, that'd be, that'd be the highlight for me, singing at Old Trafford. <laughs> I, I, I was actually going to ask, how many, how many songs are you actually on? How many songs have you got? You know. with, Happy, with Happy Mondays. And yourself, everything. Oh, no, no, there's loads. I don't know because somebody's tried to nick me publishing, so I just found out I'm on a lot because I've been going a long, long time. I did um, Reach Out, which is sampled a lot by people. I did that in 1989 and I've been singing ever since. I've written a lot of songs. So, um, yeah, no, I've, do, I've done loads and loads, but I am a bit, I'm really picky, but I've, I'm really lucky. I've worked with some top, top people. Most recently, Paul, Paul Weller I've done a tune with which um, I'm really, really proud of. Um, if, you, and if you need any high notes, I'm there. Oh, can you? Go no. on then. <laughs> I'm <laughs> joking. You're having a laugh. <laughs> I thought, <laughs> can you not Rob, sing? Rob, no, I wish I how could. Did you, how did you actually get into music? Straight from school? No, I'm, I'm just, I was a punk really. I'm into punk music, so my voice wouldn't have gone with that. I was sacked from the choir. I wasn't into singing. I liked boys and football, and that's how I know... Um, where's his uncle H from hanging about in the Arndale. I just, um, a lady was dying of cancer and she had a pub and I was just singing along to her and she, she told me, get down on the stage downstairs. And um, then I, was, I just got hooked really. I got the buzz, I was about 13. And then I went in for a talent competition at Butlins and I won, and then I won a holiday. And then I did another talent competition and you realize you get a bit of money for it and you get holidays. And I used to always win. And then I did one in some Irish club in, um, I think it's North Manchester, and this fella beat me, whistling Danny Boy, and I nearly give up music completely. When a whistler beats you, you think, <laughs> I, I just got, I was on a roll when I was about 15, I used to win everything, and yeah, and then this like, fella's like that, Woo -doo, like whistling like a bird to Danny <laughs> Boy, and he went, don't worry, it's because it's an Irish club, but it's, <laughs> it, it, it did put me down for a bit, but no, I've, um, that's how I got into it, but because I was into punk rather than soul, I, I like soul music, but I didn't see myself as being in a soul band. So um, I think that held me back a bit until I joined the Mondays because I, I liked different kind of music. And I had a really bad marriage, so I wasn't really into singing as much as, you know, living. Yeah. Uh, Danny, a question from you as well there, mate. Yeah, so you mentioned like you've got a microphone next to your bed and all that. Do you just sort of come up with stuff, record it when you, when you feel like it and then send it off to different, different people to put the tune together? I do usually, like if I'm lying in bed and thinking of music, I record it into my phone and then in the morning I listen to my voice messages and then I've got, and, and it sounds like I'm in a proper, proper studio by the side of my bed. And if it needs correcting, I'll go downstairs and do it properly, properly. But I have got it pretty the corner of my room. My dogs are snoring on most of my tunes though, because they're right by my side as well. So, um, but I love that about it. And um, yeah, it's just, I always get amazed when they go, oh, that sounds amazing. And I'm like, really, does it not need redoing? Because the top producers, it's literally- You don't know when you, so if you hear something of yourself, do you think, right, that's it? 
or do you are you unsure about it when you send it? I always send my first ideas because I'm writing as well as, as singing. So I just send my first ideas. I don't correct them because I don't mind. It's um, yeah. I say this isn't perfect. Quite often they use the first ideas, and that's when I'm always surprised. What does it not need anything? And they're like, no, because I can I can sing without a microphone, so it doesn't. No, it doesn't really matter. Do you not need to do a warm up? Are these lads to do a warm up before they go on the pitch. Do you not need to do a warm up before? I you probably start? should. I probably should, but I just don't. I used to have a drink of whiskey and a cig, and that was. I don't smoke anymore, <laughs> so that's better. But no, because because I remember Tim Booth from James. We were doing some gig in Wembley, and he was doing oh and all that in the room next door, and I thought how embarrassing. You know, when people are around, why would you do that? And it's like, I would never, I go, yeah, 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 and walk on stage. That's, that's just clears me throat. But because it's embarrassing and I wouldn't embarrass myself, but it, but it is obviously better to warm up, especially if you've had a late night. So what I do instead, I just hum, you know, from driving to a gig, hum on the way or hum side of the stage and it just clears anything, warms it up. Because I think a lot of singing teachers, they're ripping people off there with a 16 quid an hour and they can't sing. They've never had a career themselves. A lot of them, they, um, they just, they can't teach you. If you can't sing, you can't sing. If you can, you can. You can get better by practicing. I sing every day. My dog passed away last night. I was still singing this morning to keep my voice going. I love me singing. Yeah, glad to hear. Sorry for your loss on that. Uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm just saying it because there's some kind of, oh, right. Thanks for joining us though anyway, because you're you know, welcome. I wanted to, to keep my mind off it, to be honest. Oh, it's great. We could talk to you all day. You're absolutely brilliant. Uh, and you know, I could talk to you all day because I can't shut up. <laughs> uh, exactly. Before you say it, I know. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> Thank you for having me. Maybe gets in there on that one. Um, it's been great speaking to you, Aweta. Thanks for having uh, me. I love all you lot. I love United. Let's go, Aweta. Lads again. Thank you. Uh, all anybody the best. ever wants to get in touch can do so you, in the usual ways. MUTV, myunited.co.uk, the email. You leave your comments in the YouTube section uh, below. Uh, but that's it for today, boys. Uh, Stuart will be back with you tomorrow, so make sure you give him some stick here. Absolutely. We will. Don't worry about that. And anybody think some uh, some good forfeits for him for missing a day and for giving and for bullying Maisie whenever he misses a show, uh, then leave them in the comments below. All right, that's a wrap. Thanks, guys, and we'll see you again later. Thank Cheers, you. everyone. Guys. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.